Hi, I am Kavita and welcome to The Kalai. Today, I feel like drawing a mandala, so let's get started. Drawing a mandala can be really intimidating. I remember the first time I attempted to draw a mandala and honestly, I just couldn't stop. I literally kept drawing back to back mandalas and continued practicing the art of it. Mandala, though rooted in Buddhism, has been adopted by several religions and is a part of their culture all over the world. There is no rule or guidelines on how to draw a mandala. You just go where it flows, let your mind and hand guide you into creating the layers. I just start from the center and go where it leads me. Sometimes I finish a mandala in just one sitting and the other times it takes me days to come up with a design just for one row. That's completely all right. What's important is that you start and see it through till the end. I always prefer drawing a rough sketch first on how the mandala will look before using my final medium. The reason I draw a rough sketch first and then draw with the final medium is because I want the overall mandala to look nice and cohesive. It needs to fit and not all designs and patterns go well with one another. I'm happy with my sketch and I'll start drawing this with the Pigma pens now. Meanwhile, do like and subscribe if you're enjoying this video. I usually use these Pigma pens. They come in different line weights, they dry quickly, they don't bleed much. Overall, they are a good choice when there is a need for technical and fine detailing. I prefer having little to no distractions when designing a mandala. Every time something or someone distracts me, it's one step back on the mandala. Chess is an exception, of course. It requires deep thinking and having a clear mind. Only then the mandala will flow to you automatically. You should not hurry and take the time to let it come together. And it's okay if you make mistakes along the way. Nothing is perfect. I find myself more relaxed and calm every time I draw a mandala. No wonder people find it therapeutic because it really is. At this stage, it's easy to rush things and try to get the mandala finished as we have already established the design. I have done that so many times and I end up making a lot more mistakes. So it's important that you don't rush the process Respect the mandala and give it the time and attention it deserves. I use different line weights where it's needed and try to be as precise as possible. But I'm completely okay if it doesn't end up being 100% perfect. I feel that's what makes it real and authentic. That's where the true beauty lies. Things get better with practice and you start developing more ideas as you go. The mandala is coming to an end and so is this video. Do let me know in the comments below if you have ever drawn a mandala and what are your thoughts on this one. I am gonna head out now for a walk with Chess, but if you have the time, then go ahead and watch this video where I draw a floor plan and share my thoughts and process.